Hello and welcome to episode 3 of Deviant Square, using SPSS syntax without knowing syntax. Here we have a syntax window. Now this window is often avoided by beginners to SPSS because frankly it seems a bit intimidating. However, it is not the monster that it seems. In this quick video I'll show you that you don't have to be a computer programmer to use SPSS syntax. Syntax is most useful in three main situations. First, if you're conducting a large number of analyses that are just iterations of one another. Lots of repeat analysis with small changes. Second, if you have to repeat an analysis on a regular basis that may have several steps, you can automate that process. And third, if you want to save the steps of an analysis to come back to later, or maybe to slightly modify later. Now, most people would think if you want to write syntax, you need to first learn the language of syntax. However, thanks to SPSS, that's not necessarily the case. They've built something into their program called the paste function. If I go to the drop-down menu, like so, and plug in the variables into a regression, I can specify whatever parameters I want into that regression, and then instead of hitting the OK button, which would normally run the analysis, I will instead go and push the Paste button, like so. And the result is a syntax window popping up with the syntax for that respective analysis printed right on the syntax window. Iterate this analysis, let's say we're going to insert this prob2 variable in a regression where a prob4 variable here is already a predictor of the prob1 dependent variable. To do that we simply copy this syntax by pressing command C in Mac or pressing control C in PC and then open a new syntax window by pressing command N in Mac or control N in PC and then paste that syntax into the new window um, command V in Mac or control V in PC. Once it's pasted simply use the find and replace function in the edit menu put find the variable you want to get rid of and replace it with the variable you want to replace it with and it hit replace all and you see we have the new analysis. At that point you can then cut the new analysis out of the new syntax window and paste into the original window having both in one syntax window. Once in the syntax window simply highlight all command A for Mac control A for Windows and then go to run all and all of the analysis in that syntax window will appear in your output. As you can see here in the output window, both analyses have been produced in the order in which they were listed in the syntax from top to bottom. So this gives us an opportunity to learn how syntax works if we so choose. To do that, if we return to the General Linear Model dialog box, which is what we ran earlier, and change some of the parameters, like I've done here, and hit continue, and then again hit paste, we'll see that it pasted a new syntax in our second window that we opened, our second syntax window. Comparing the new syntax to the original, let me cut and paste that over to make it easier to compare. Comparing the two, we can see that there are some new commands in the new syntax, some additional text. And this shows that when you add certain options, what new text appears in the syntax. It'll help you learn the syntax. But don't worry, no rush, you'll get there. So in addition to creating iterations of analysis, you can also save a syntax to come back to later. Simply go to File, Save As, name it something you'll remember, put it in a place that you'll remember, and you can come back at any time to rerun or to make slight modifications and rerun then. And finally, to run several analysis in a row or to automate them, just remember that analyses run from the top of a syntax window to the bottom in that order. So simply paste the analysis you want to run first at the top and then subsequent analysis you want to run below. So thank you for watching the Stats Make Me Cry podcast. This is Jeremy Taylor, the Stats Make Me Cry guy. Don't forget to check out our website at statsmakemecry.com for useful blogs, user forums, and some fun stuff as well. Finally this week, check out our Average American Project page. It's completely free and takes less than 30 seconds to be a part of it. 
please do. See you next time. I'm George W. Bush, and I approve this message. In fact, I think it is awesome.